get my Windows machine up and running. <laughs> Always. <laughs> I think that's that's the most most easy applause I got uh, this year, actually. So thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to talk to you. Uh, let me do a quick introduction of myself. My name is Ruud de Jonge. Uh, I've understood that I'm the last speaker before a break. I'm not going to show any code. So um, let's be clear about that a little bit oh i have to be careful here because i will fall off the stage I'm, I'm used to walking around just a little bit um i'm responsible uh within microsoft for our applications portfolio on windows phone you see those nice flashy devices those kind of uh, windows phones and i'm responsible for our top applications so our top brands that they are available in our store and also to make sure that we have a sufficient breadth of applications so that everyone can utilize uh, whatever they would like to do in our, uh, in our uh, platform. Microsoft is, an, uh, I think, is a company in transition. So the company exists for just over 30 years, which is uh, kind of short for a traditional company and it's kind of long for an IT company. So we're somewhere in the middle. And we are in the middle of a in, 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 in transition in what we call a devices and services company. Um, which means is, is that we will do more in these kind of devices. You've probably all heard on the, the bit we have out currently uh, at Nokia. But also we've released yesterday a new version of the Surface tablets where we yeah, have a hardware solution, a desktop and a tablet hardware solution. And at the same time, you also see that uh, we now see s software as a, as a service. It's a service that you consume and you pay an, a certain amount of money for it, or it's free, but at least it's something you um, expect it to behave like a service. Um, and I think the desktop here, which, um, uh, I, where I used the picture for, you see it's, it's kind of similar to what we all see here. I've seen... Um, um, there is a kid, by the way, in the picture, uh, somewhere there, who's doing some fun stuff. And I've also seen a kid over there doing some fun stuff. So it's, 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 quite, uh, it's, um, it's quite similar. And you see multiple types of devices. You see a smartphone, you see a tablet, you see a PC. And the idea is that software as a service is, is that your environment travels around. There is, I think, one big mistake in this picture. Has, every, has anyone seen this one? this mistake no coffee there is can anyone explain to me what this device is doing in the picture it's a desk phone who has a desk phone <laughs> oh, there's still a couple of people left but uh, even in our Microsoft offices we've kicked out all the desk phones so only have mobile phones etc and <laughs> But this is our future. Our future is about devices, about mobile platforms, about your data and software traveling across. Okay, so that's an, uh, that's an interesting one. So let's try to make it just a little bit more relevant to phone. And for phone, there are two numbers which are quite important to us right now. 150 and 41. Any idea where those numbers, what they rep represent? Number of users. <laughs> um, yeah, it could be. In this, in this room, you mean? <laughs> okay. Uh, let's not kid ourselves. Um, so, um, 150. That's the price of the, uh, this cheapest uh, Nokia Lumia phone in the market right now. It's the 520. So it's a full-featured Windows 8 phone, and it's 150 euros unsubsidized, which means is that you will get it free with a pack of cereal when you take a uh, subscription. And actually, they will give you money uh, in doing this. So that's the 150. And I, actually, it is, it's a great device. I bought one for my youngest daughter, and she's quite happy with it. 
and it's a, it's a full featured smartphone, 150 euros. Exact, uh, very interesting for um, prepaid models. The second one, 41. Any idea? Yes. 41 megapixels. Something is happening here. I already took, uh, took, uh, took a picture earlier and posted it on Twitter and on Facebook. But this, and, and then it actually ruins the resolution again because it brings it down. But this camera does 41 megapixels. Uh, and, and, and it's quite stunning. And I think it's an interesting uh, uh, way in how to think about your phone as a primary uh, device. So, and, 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 uh, and I think it's, it's, and it's an interesting one. I'm a phone enthusiast and I'm also a photography enthusiast and that's a, that's a great combination. So, that was the end of the quiz section, by the way. Um, my main purpose today is to address one question. And uh, the question is quite simple. Why the heck should I port my PhoneGap application to Windows Phone? And that's an, uh, a quite interesting uh, uh, challenge and a quite interesting question. Because when you look at our market situation, uh, depending on how you look, we're the number three. Um, we're the number three worldwide. Uh, we've passed BlackBerry in most of our markets. In some of the markets, we've passed iOS, like India, like Italy, like Finland, although Finland is not really fair. In Finland, we're actually market leader. But you, uh, we are a very solid number three with the ambition to do more. And let's be very honest uh, about this one. That still means is that the amount of sockets you will have, pure in the numbers point of view, it's quite a lot. So this shows, for instance, is how many developers we have registered in our stores and how many applications we have, and which I'm allowed to talk about, and currently that's 170,000. That's a lot, but it's still, it's, it's not enough. What we do see is, is that the usage is accelerating. So we have doubled the number of downloads in our store in the last three months. And I think that's a quite a nice trajectory. Um, and there is more to come because I'm still talking about Windows Phone 8. I'm not allowed to talk about Windows Phone 8.1, which is the next version. And quite honestly, I will do that even when I'm not allowed to do this because we will announce a new version of Windows Phone and that will happen um, in the next coming months, and uh, one of the trends in the industry is convergen convergence, and you will see our platforms coming even more closer together. So expect Windows 8.1 on the desktop and the tablet, and Windows Phone 8.1 on the phone to become much more closer to each other, which actually explodes the opportunity for developers to port their application. Um, and I think that's exciting news, and which also shows us is, is that we will become very close again to become a big player in this market. And I think that's an, uh, that's an important uh, part of our um, trajectory. So, Windows Phone and PhoneGap. Well, why should you package and, and, and import your application to Windows Phone? Well, I think because it's easy and because it gives you an extra distribution platform of your application. And that's, that's the most simple answer I can give. And we have some people uh, working on this for quite a while. So already uh, two years ago, we had the first beta for Windows Phone 7. And yesterday, we did a workshop here where we uh, took some people uh, through the process of first sometimes installing Windows. Um, and then also the utilization of the, the, the plugins and, and Visual Studio. And we've given out some phones also to people to play around with. And what I've heard is that, uh, that the direction was quite positive, but yeah, we can do more. So yes, we have ported some quite uh, popular phone gap applications and also made them available on our, on our, uh, on our platform. 
And actually, I installed the top five of them on my phone, and I have been playing specifically with the Math IQ application just a little bit, so just to uh, train myself. So, and we have some uh, some quite famous people in the PhoneGap uh, community who have been contributing uh, to this. One of the, the most famous one is Jesse uh, Jess McFadden, and also Sergei Grebnov. And Sergei is here. Actually, he's sitting over there. And he was the guy also. <laughs> and he was the guy yesterday who did all the, the, the real difficult stuff at uh, our uh, Windows Phone porting uh, workshop. And it's always easy for me to say, when you have real difficult questions, ask him. <laughs> the easy ones, I am uh, I'm quite comfortable with. So what did we do? So, well. A couple of months ago in the US, we did a porting challenge at a huge uh, uh, phone gap uh, event. We had 20 finalists, three grand prize winners, and 17 other prize winners. Um, and some of the applications here, I think, are quite known because when I go also to the phone gap uh, site, I see them reappearing again. And I think that's an, that's an interesting one. So yoga and travel, math IQ, that one is quite fun. Actually, my kids like it a lot. And browser quest um, have all been uh, ported to the phone platform um, as part of the, um, of the contest. And yes, you can also go through the URL and see and have a look at the rest and see in how it actually works. Um, so what's up next? Well. I think as phone gap developers, you have an opportunity to reach more users. And to reach more users also means not only phone users, but also means in the future versions of our platform where we will invest very heavily in, in our devices and services portfolio. So what can you do? What should you do? Well, follow this link and it will bring you to our uh, software suite, our SDK, and, uh, which is absolutely free. And then you can start developing uh, and also distributing your application um, in our Windows stores. And I think that's a, that's a great opportunity. So any questions and feedback, react directly to me, my email alias, and also my Twitter handle. And of course, let's win together. <laughs> Thank you. So we did have a question. Yes. Uh, from uh, Leon. Um, question for Rude. Is there a way to deploy apps without Visual Studio and all the SDKs on a Mac, for example? Uh, the answer is no. I, actually, I can take this. There is a way. OK. <laughs> VMware. V uh, of, yes, so <laughs> the <laughs> second bootcamp. part of my answer yeah. is yesterday we distributed kits where we gave away virtual machines with all the tools, etc. you need to actually run a VM on Windows and Visual Studio and do all the deployment uh, themselves. And probably we, uh, for people who are interested, we might have some kits here available or you can mail me and I will make sure that you will get a kit. Another way is PhoneGap build. Although we don't support Windows 8 just yet, we are going to very soon. So, Kay. Thank you. Thank you. And Sergei, he's over there. So uh, a couple of notes before we take a break. Um,